Welcome back to Live Free and Toulon, and this is the Ryobi Weekly Update. This is where we look at all of the groups, uh, social media sites, and we really try to bring you updates, what everybody's doing in the Ryobi community, some of the great projects we're doing, some of the sales that are going on, some of the upcoming events, and maybe some of the new tools that are coming out. So if that's what you're looking for, you hit the right spot. So stick around, everybody. So let's go ahead and jump into the sales right now at the good old Home Depot. They're still doing their $99 sale for some of the tools. They still have some really good packages, $269 and some of the other package deals that you can do for multiple tools. Uh, and that's going to continue through Christmas. If they're going to throw anything out there new, I think we're really going to know then. Um, on the new products, though, we haven't seen anything new that they've announced, but they have started releasing some of the Link products, and that's why I have this out here. This is one of the Link rails, and this goes on the wall, so you can hang a lot of things on it. And you see that you have, um, you know, this really nice triangular type of locking system. And one of the cool things about it is that this is reinforced plastic, has a lot of fiber into it, but you can hang not only tools, but a lot of homeowner items, a lot of, you know, basketball, athletic items. It really organizes just about everything you want to for your life. But I did find one big drawback to this, and I actually made a video this week just about the link system, installing it, unboxing it, going through it. Then I had some time to really organize it, and I found that a lot of the stuff that I already have, such as the mounts right back here, I got those from unpluggedmounts.com uh, from Matt. He's a great dude, but I really couldn't use those anymore. So I went over to the good old design center and I created a little latch plate that locks onto here so you can pretty much screw onto anything you want to. I did make a video about it because I was, I was excited about it. I was able to reuse a lot of my mounts and some of the other stuff. So if that's something you all are interested to and you want to little life hack in order to start using some of your old stuff on this uh, you know that's out there if you just want to buy everything new hey I like new stuff too the more the merrier keep on trucking with it so that's for the new products that we've seen this week it's really just the link system we haven't seen any of the mobile tool cart link systems um, maybe around Christmas maybe around New Year's not sure when that's going to drop in stores but it's going to be pretty exciting a lot of people are looking forward to that so stay tuned. As soon as we hear about it, I will bring it to you. Over at Direct Tools, they are doing the same thing that they have been doing. 20 and 30% off of factory blemished, factory reconditioned tools. Keep your eye open for that. They have the daily deals as well. Uh, you can get a lot of really good stuff there. It's going to be older stuff, overstock stuff, return stuff. But if you're looking for a deal, it's kind of like going through a th to a thrift shop. You know, Head on over there. You're going to find something. Even if you didn't know you wanted it, if it gets cheap enough, you're probably going to want it. <laughs> Alright, so my favorite part of this whole video is jumping into the social media sites, looking into the communities, seeing what a lot of people are doing. So we're going to start off right off the top, going to go over to the Ryobi Fanatics page. This is Thomas Hudgens. What he is doing is he is using the Ryobi Cement Mixer, and it looks like he's filling in under a steel gate. Maybe somebody it was worn out or it's an animal digging and getting out running around the neighborhood. Not sure what's going on, but I know that he's using it. And it's a pretty rare item. I don't see it a lot out there. So I wanted to make sure I highlighted him. He's doing projects. Now, one thing I would ask of Thomas is let us know how it actually worked. You know, was it did it work flawlessly? Did you have any issues? It is a steel drum, so it's not fiberglass, so it looks like it's pretty strong. So let's see some feedback. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for showing your tool. Thanks for sharing some of the projects you're doing too. And I hope to see you in the future doing some of these things. So this next one is from Ryobi Club Denmark. Now I've been chasing this one for two weeks because I thought it was awesome. This is Martin Archer Hansen. Now I'm probably saying that wrong because he's from Denmark and they pronounce it differently, but I'm going to do the best I can for you, man. Um, and I'm going to give him a shout out. This is 315 underscore Ensign on Instagram, so go check him out. The thing that drew me to this is that he has a hand-knitted hat, and it's in the Ryobi colors, and it's kind of like a Charlie Brown hat, but, I mean, it's it's actually pretty cool. I love the craftsmanship that went into that, so not only am I, you know, promoting some of the tools and some of the projects, well, this is some of the handmade crafts that people are doing, too. I'm really into that. I like to see the crafts and, you know, the knitting and the crocheting and the different things, so I wanted to highlight that. Well, after I contacted him, he actually does a, a lot of other things, so check out this really cool project. So he's getting his tool organization together. He has a lot of his sandy discs together. 
um, and he's really making a go of it and he's trying to organize his shop so he can be more productive but he's doing it with Ryobi tools and he's sharing a lot of that with us so I really appreciate that I love to see what's going on over in Denmark and some of the cool things they have I hope that you keep coming out with some of this really great content so thanks for sharing and we hope to see you in future videos now we're going to head over to Ryobi Freaks this is Jake Scarletti he has and this is pretty cool I usually don't chase whenever we look at French cleat walls but he framed this one out so it almost looks like a picturesque framed wall and it's super clean it's in the middle of the wall all of his mounts are very clean everything is there um, and you know one of the things that I like about this is that he he's not necessarily overcrowding it he's leaving some negative space leaving himself for, for growth so you know get out there and buy some more tools but I wanted to give him a highlight here so thanks for sharing that I love the craftsmanship on it. I love what you're doing there. Keep it up, man. Now, this is Ronald A. Shaw, and I've been chasing this guy for a couple weeks, too. This is pretty important. This is also in Ryobi Freaks. But um, you can see he has his tools organized, and it's a video. So he has everything organized. But if you look very closely in this video, you're going to see one tool that I have spoken about before. I wish they would bring back. I hope that the new mobile link storage system actually does. Take a trip down below the video and comment what you think I'm talking about when I talk about the mobile storage systems and please use the proper name for this particular tool. I'd love to see if someone can actually get this right. Now we're going to head over to the Ryobi Rebels page. This is Rob Hunter. Now what you're going to see in this picture, he has some lights out, he has his radio out. Radio, really important radio. He lost his power, he's getting ready. So not only does he have his lights out, um, he has the inverter there, the two bench lights. Great choice with the bench lights, my favorite light. But then also he has the radio. What's really important about the radio is you can listen to broadcast if your power goes out and you're no, you don't have a way your data goes out, you can't tell what the weather is, the cell service is out. If you can pick up the radio, you're gonna have a way of, or of getting some type of you know, information in that's going to help your family, maybe restoration times, maybe some of the weather, uh, maybe some of the, you know, alerts that are coming out. So that's really key. I think he has a good setup here, uh, but that really proves that Ryobi is putting out there um, good emergency preparedness equipment. And last but not least, we have the Ryobi Revolution page. This is a super busy page. There's a lot of activity going on it. So I had to be selective in some of the things that I pick and chose from it because there was there's just a lot to choose from this page. So this is Sean and he's showing off his log splitting and some of the things that he's doing. He has a pretty good pile going, but this is also one of those tools you don't see people using a lot of, the electric log splitter. Now it looks like it's doing a great job. One of the things I'd like to see for this too is him giving some feedback, some of the things that really worked well with it, some of the things that maybe didn't, and then maybe some of the things that he would like to see improved, convenience, ergonomics, but more importantly, I'd like to see the limits of this. So if you're out there and you can give us some feedback, hey, please do that. I'm sure everybody would like to know. I'm interested in getting one of the log splitters too. And next, this is Chris Wilhelm. He's doing something a little bit different. Now, if we look into other countries, he's in Australia. And over there, I believe their, electric, their typical house voltage is 230 volts, so they have different plugs. Well, he runs the 12-volt system for Ryobi over there. Now, what we found is that those batteries are identical to the M12 batteries in the United States. What he wanted is a 120-volt charger because he only had the two 30-volt chargers. So he had an M12 charger, and he decided to check it out. And well, look at this, it actually worked. It's charging the same battery from the 230 and the 120 because, you know, it's obviously it's going to transfer on power down, but it transforms it to the same charging abilities. And he's able to charge it from 120 and 230, but it's very interesting that the Milwaukee American 12 volt is the same as the Australian Ryobi or Ryobi 12 volt. So just a little food for thought as you're kind of mulling that over and you're going to start doing your own research. I think it shows some of the disparities, but maybe some of the level setting of where Ryobi's at in the rest of the world compared to the United States. For Ryobi Revolution, they're doing something a little bit different. They're doing a giveaway. Now, this is a bit different of a giveaway because they have four packages under Christmas tree, and you are going to be able to get four different prizes. 
It's pretty interesting how they're doing this. You have a link system, you have some scissors, you have um, you know, a gift card as well. So what I would encourage you to do if you'd like to see how they're divvying this up and how people are being selected for the prizes, well go ahead and head over to the Ryobi Revolution page and you're going to see that. Look for Matt Robbins um, on there. You can look him up. He's the one who posted it and they'll be able to uh, show you the details of that. I think it's really cool. It's pretty interesting how this actually occurred. So go ahead and jump over there and see how that works. Now everybody, I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what some of the people are doing around the community. I try to bring this to bring the community together, all the different groups, break down the silos, break down the walls, break down the borders because we're going from you know the UK to Denmark to Australia. We're going all around the world where we can with our groups and we try to bring it all together so we can just see you know some of the really cool things as a community together. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. You know the drill. Hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss all this amazing content that I'm putting out. I hope to see you in the next video, everybody. Take care.